Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UIFI projects. And in this video, we'll learn how to create a simple chatbot in SAP UI5. So there are a few prerequisites, like you need to know the basic knowledge of chatbot, how exactly it performs, how exactly it is created. And then you need to have IDE access. It can be web ID or it can be business application studio. And then you need to have basic knowledge of SAP UI5. So there are very few simple steps to create a simple chatbot in SAP UI5. Certainly, if you plan to have an AI based chatbot, that will be something that we will discuss in another video, but it will be a bit typical. So in this particular video, we are focusing just on simple chatbot. So a simple chatbot is a chatbot where either you hard code the values or the responses in the UI itself, or you use simple CRUD operations or API based integrations from backend. So for that, you need to create a new project, new SAP UIFI project, and then you need to add a fragment. A dialog box you know where you will be actually writing the interactions and then you need to perform some read and create operations which we also called queries right so for our use case the uh, replies or the questions are already written and based on that only we are doing the interaction with the user so we have created a simple flow for a chatbot so you will ask anything to the chatbot using the input box this will be the first step and when you will ask something, the chatbot will trigger an ask function. Okay. And your text, whatever you have written in the input box, will be transferred to the interface of the chatbot. Fine. Just a simple SAP.text element will be added in the chatbot. And then your question will be processed via answer function. This is the function where you can either call the API from backend or you can use your own uh, you know, if else queries or hard coded values in the UI. And when you are done with that, you will use create text or create button functions so based on the response either you have to create a text right so whatever response will be added in the chatbot interface or button will be added in the chatbot interface so for that also we have different functions where we have uh, written queries or written the coding where you just pass the values and it automatically create a text box or a button fine so then you go to step five where your query is processed your reply function is adds the required element in the chatbot interface. And if your query is not processed, the same function add a hard coded text, like sorry, nothing is found, something like that. And then we have some additional functions like on clear. So button will be, will be there where you will click and your entire interface will be cleared. And then a button press function is there. So if you remember, we have created a button, right? Those buttons will be like performing some operations. And for that, we have something called button press. So as of now, what we do, we just give a prompt to the user to enter something. So that's the only operation we are performing right now. So we have also written an article for you. So this article will be shared in the description of the video. And in this article, we have provided all the theoretical as well as coding knowledge. So you can just go through the article like this. Whatever we have just discussed is also present in this article. And all the required coding is also added here. So you can just copy and paste the code to get started. Fine. So once you're done with the exploration, we can come back to the coding part. So if you see, we have three screens already open up here. A simple application is created. And inside this application, the structure is already created, right? So in that, we have added a new folder called fragment. And inside, we have added a file called bot.fragment.xml. Fine. And uh, in the view part, we have just added a footer, nothing else is there. And that we have added a button. And the text is there called click to chat. An icon of chatbot or message is there. And a simple press function calls the functionality. And once this handle message popover press is pressed, in the controller, we have written a function for that, which opens up this particular fragment. And also, it handles the close operation. So if you go to the UI, this is the application. This is the button we are talking right now. And on click, this particular fragment opens up. And if you go to the fragment operations, you see this is a popover, right? Inside that we have a title where we have written welcome to UI5 chatbot. And then we have something called input and button, right? This input is there and a button is there. 
so input is to give the input of queries and on pressing of enter will trigger a function called ask fine and also this is the interface that we are calling the chatbot interface here also we have something called hard coded value that is how may i help you and for that particular thing we have added a flex box inside that we have items and inside that we have this text and whenever a query will be created within this flex box we'll keep adding the content fine so we are done with the bot fragment xml we are done with the view xml and now the rest of the coding is written in the controller file as you, do, you remember so whenever i just write a query here hello press enter a function will be triggered right and that function is called ask function so what it does it just take your value and add that value using these line of code inside this interface so whatever you have written is added here if i just write hello again your value is already always added here i'll clear it out so once your value is added here with these line of code uh, two operations happen so it clears the this particular empty uh, this particular input box and also it transfer your value to another function fine so this is the second function we are talking regarding like how exactly or where exactly we will be writing the integration codes so what exactly happens here whatever query you have passed this query is like a compared with some of our queries that we have already written here and if it matches any of them a hard coded response is also written here and those responses you are seeing in the ui fine and in case you ask something like this what can you do for me right then also some something happens right so if you are asking hi hello for that we are replying with some text only but if you are writing any query like this we are replying with the buttons so if you see if the query is the first one we are replying with the text and the text box is added and if you are adding some other queries we are creating multiple buttons and showing you same thing fine so if you remember we have some new functions called uh, create text and create button right and those functions we have discussed in the theoretical part so these are something whenever you pass a text it returns the text element whenever you pass a text here it returns a button element that's it so using these only the results are generated here fine so so we have discussed ask where you are passing the values getting your text back into the interface and also clearing the input box and passing your value to answer now this answer is guessing what question you have asked based on that it is either showing you the text output or button output fine and both of them is passed to reply and the reply function just adds the exact same thing back to the interface that's the only thing it is doing and in case none of the queries are matching it hard codes something like this did not recognize you come again so if i ask uh, what is sap since nothing is added already right so if i press like this you see did not recognize you come again so like this we have hard coded the values if it is not matching our condition our queries fine and again on clear is written so when you click on clear everything is cleared up and the last button press okay so for button press we need to generate buttons once again so i will just ask what can you do something like this it generates buttons and if i say show your questionnaire so it is creating or generating some predefined input boxes right so those things are handled here so if this button is pressed this will happen if this button is pressed that will happen like that we have written four else if conditions fine and if you just press the last one do something naughty so it just generates text box nothing like a prompt nothing like an input box and what should be the next step is like you can provide the name or set id and it should provoke uh, generate 
automatic answer it should perform some audit operation something you, you want to automate you can just put it to the chatbot like this so i hope you have understood the basic concept of chatbot creation and you have enjoyed this video and in case you have any queries ask them in the comment section thank you